all animals move at some point during their life cycle. Maybe not as adults, but if they don't move as adults, they move when they were larvae. There's evidence that maybe one type of Ediacaran fossil called Dickinsonia could move. And this is from evidence from a fossil that shows imprints of the bottom of the Dickinsonia multiple times on the seafloor. But there's a lot of debate among scientists about whether the Dickinsonia was moving itself or whether it got moved around by, say, ocean currents. So there isn't a lot of great evidence to suggest that these organisms could move around on their own on the seafloor, but it's still an area of active research. So the Ediacaran organisms, as you've seen in pictures, don't really have heads or mouths. So you may be thinking, well, if they don't have heads and mouths, how did they eat? And the answer is complicated and something that scientists are still actively debating today. But one leading hypothesis is that they actually ate through their skin, which means that they were able to absorb nutrients from the water through the surface of their skin. And their skin was very different than your skin. It was, it was probably designed to absorb nutrients through it. So the Ediacaran organisms need the same types of things that you need to survive. Um, and that is carbon and nutrients, which we think we call vitamins. Um, but vitamins are actually groups of elements that are naturally occurring in the oceans. And so an Ediacaran organism would need to absorb uh, mo molecules of carbon and other nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus through its skin in order to survive uh, and continue living. The carbon that Ediacaran organisms probably ate probably came from bacteria. And bacteria we know evolved billions of years before the Ediacaran organisms did. And so bacteria have populated the world's oceans for a really long time. And bacteria um, are a great source of nutrients and carbon because they're really tiny and the Ediacaran organisms might have been able to absorb them directly through their skin and then digest the nutrients inside them.